Hello everyone, it's Michael Lazar here. Welcome back to the channel where we talk about music theory, singing technique, and Byzantine music. Now, if you haven't seen my last video on the hard chromatic scale, I highly recommend you watch it. Today, we are going to be talking about the soft chromatic scale. Oftentimes, the soft chromatic scale and the hard chromatic scale can get confused. So today, I'm going to clarify it for both Western musicians and Byzantine musicians. So the soft chromatic scale is made up of two tetrachords that are combined together with a whole step, which is similar to the hard chromatic scale. However, the intervals are different in the soft chromatic scale. And because of this, we have to analyze it differently. So let's begin by reviewing a few things. The first concept is marea. In the Byzantine scale, there are 72 units, also known as marea, that divide up the scale. In the equal temperament scale, which is the scale most of us know, it is divided by 12 half steps. So, that means every 6 marea equals 1 half step. So now that you know how marea work, let's look at the Byzantine scale again. So, it starts on ni. Ni pavogadi kezoni, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. Do, Re, Mi, Fa, Sol, La, Ti, Do. Now knowing this, we can further analyze the scale. So now that we know how the scale works, let's break it up into the two tetrachords. So the bass note is the the, which is G or So. And then you have Ke, Zo, Ni. And then you have Ra, Vu, Pa, and then Ni. So, the way it's broken down is 8, 14, 8. 8 Maria, 14 Maria, 8 Maria. Then it's combined by a whole step, 12 Maria. And then again, 8, 14, 8. So let's begin. Ni is going to be natural. C, si, Pa. Remember how we said 6 Maria equals a half step. So it's going to be a half step plus one third of a half step. Ni, Pa. Not Ni, Pa. Ni, Pa. It's a little sharp. If you can't hear it, I'll play on the software later so you can fully understand it. And then Vu is going to be a little flat. Vu, not Vu, it's Vu. You can hear my voice, it's a little flatter. As opposed to it's and then the same pattern happens. 8, 14, 8. So K is going to be a third sharp. Zo is going to be a third flat. And Ni is going to be natural. So let's do the whole scale. See, it's not as hard, and not intervals are not as big as the harmonic minor scale. So it's not that's incorrect. And a lot of people make that mistake because they do not know the distinction. They do not hear the distinction. And if you guys are having trouble hearing it, I will play it for you on a software. And then repeat. Why? Because this is 12. Whole step. And then you repeat 8, 14, 8. Same here. 12. You repeat the 8, 14, 8 again. Now let's put this into terms of C up to C, so we can fully understand it for those who are not Byzantine musicians. So now that we know how to analyze this with Byzantine notation, let's analyze this with Western notation. To begin, we start with the skeleton of the scale. C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. Now, we know the skeleton, we have a few modifications. The D is flat, E is natural. A is flat, B is natural. C, D flat, D natural, F, G, A flat, B natural, C. All right, we have this. We have a few more modifications to make. We're going to soften up the interval between these notes. We're going to make it less large. We're going to shrink it from 20 marea all the way down to 14 marea, a whole half step. So let's begin. 
C, D flat becomes a third sharp. D, E, C, D flat plus a third. E natural minus a third. D, C, D flat. E natural minus a third F. Da, 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 da. One more time. C, D flat, D, F, E, D flat, C. I have G, F to G is a whole step, G, A flat, plus a third, G, A, B natural, B natural minus a third, and C natural, so G, A, so C, D flat, D, F, G, A flat, B, C, so, now that we know how it sounds, we're going to put into a software to get the most precise pitches possible. So now that we know how to analyze this using Western and Byzantine theory, let's analyze this with a computer. C, natural. C sharp or D flat. A third sharpened. E, is going to be a third flat. So, F is going to be natural. G is natural. A flat or G sharp is going to be a third sharp. B is going to be a third flat and C is going to be natural. So it's a sound like this. So this kind of sounds like a major scale that has gone hard chromatic. It is very, very interesting. And the intervals are kind of hard to hear, so I'm going to play them for you individually. So. You can hear it's going to be a little sharper, and then B as well. E as well, C sharp, you can hear a little bit of difference in the notes, and this little difference adds up throughout the scale, and that sounds much different than this. And then the original way, without any modifications. If you hear a difference in them, then good, because this is hard to hear as a Western musician, because this is not a scale we typically hear. However, because we don't hear the scale, it's important that we know what it sounds like so we can properly analyze it. So now we've learned how to analyze the soft chromatic scale in both Byzantine and Western notation, and we also learned how it sounds with the computer. I hope you learned something new today. If you did, I would greatly appreciate if you subscribed and liked the video. Other than that, I'll see you on the next one and have a great day.